DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas on the defensive as he has become just the second cabinet member to be impeached in nearly 150 years. This over his handling of the worsening border crisis. Do you have a personal reaction to what happened in Congress last week being impeached? I don't let it distract me uh, from the work. Uh, would I have preferred that correctness had prevailed? Um, of course so. The fact that it did not does not uh, slow me down in doing the work that um, I'm tasked to do by the President of the United States. They say you did not perform your duty as, uh, as the Secretary over Immigration. What is your response? Um, it's what I've said previously. Baseless allegations, uh, no basis in fact, no basis in law. Okay, so he talked about correctness. Let's discuss that with Fox News contributor and former House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz, who joins us now here on set. Jason, great to see you as yeah, always. Yeah, glad to be with you. All right, so response there to the DHS secretary, kind of the personification of arrogance in some ways. Yeah, it's just infuriating. He, he essentially says, I'm going to continue to do <clears throat> what we will continue to do. Well, that's the definition of insanity. He's been there for three years. It's not working by every single metric. It is upside down. Uh, and, and it can't continue, but he, that's what he's going to continue to do. It's interesting because I think it's understandable that House Republicans are using him as not a scapegoat, but they're channeling all this frustration with that disaster down there to the man ultimately responsible for that. But he is someone who reports to someone else up the food chain, the president of the United States. Is he kind of just carrying out Joe Biden policy? Isn't this a Biden problem more than a Mayorkas problem because you get rid of Mayorkas let's just say the next person's going to keep going right with the same policies that's really the fundamental issue well clearly he's doing what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want him to do and it's it's not working they opened up the borders it was secure and much more secure before and they opened up those borders I guess what I can't get past with Secretary Mayorkas specifically is that there are some 85,000 kids unaccompanied minors that came across that border. Now, this isn't Republicans' fault. This isn't Trump's fault. This isn't some problem with the law that needs to be fixed. They had 85,000 people, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, 8-year-olds, little boys and girls, and they don't know where they are. And you look at the problems with sex trafficking and, and the working conditions that some of these, the slave labor that they're put into. Where are all these kids? And, and that is, somebody's got to take responsibility for this. Secretary Marcus, that's his job. Mm -hmm. The Secretary of Health and Human Services, that's his job. And so I think the Republicans actually should have led with the kids and talked about the kids because they have no idea where they are. Yeah. And I think we're going to hear horror stories for generations. And I don't know if Javier Becerra, HHS Secretary, has been asked, uh, been asked rather a single question yeah. on that topic. He doesn't seem to be anywhere. I don't know the last time he was asked any <laughs> questions. On the Homeland Security yeah. side of it, very quickly, nearly two million known gotaways. They have no idea, DHS, who's in this country or where those people are. No, they don't. And look at by the tens of thousands now we have chinese nationals coming across the border i saw this griff jenkins report yep. down at the border record surge of chinese migrants that are coming across the border don't just think this is some you know lady in mexico who's trying to bring her kids across oh no these these unaccompanied minors but a lot of of aged males that are in their 20s and 30s single by themselves uh from countries that really don't want good things for the United States. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.